I'm going to explain some of the grammars which is there for the exam. First, we'll learn word formation. That is compound noun. So when you say compound, it originally means two words we are joining together. But we have to learn in detail. So let's see what is compound noun. Compound nouns are sometimes one word like toothpaste, haircut or bedroom. See, the toothpaste, you can divide that word also. Tooth and paste, hair and cut, bed and room. But while writing, we are not separating them. We are writing them together like toothpaste, haircut, bedroom. So it is known as one word. So it's a one type of compound noun. There are compound noun that appear as two separate words like full moon. See there is a gap between full and moon. Christmas tree. Again there is a gap between Christmas and tree. Swimming pool. There is a gap between swimming and pool. So it's a compound noun. Means we are writing two different words to for in a sentence but it gives a correct meaning. Next is compound nouns that are formed with the two separate words. They are often called as open or spaced compound like full moon, Christmas tree, swimming pool. These are again called in a separate name that is spaced compound because we are given gap between two words. Now let's see type of compound nouns. Closed compound words. These words are written as a single word such as haircut, newspaper, grandmother. I explained previously right there is no gap. When we frame sentence we use haircut as one word, newspaper as one word, grandmother as one word. So it is called as closed compound words. Next is open compounds. So in open compounds words are written separately like high school, living room, school bus. Now there is third type that is hyphenated compounds. In this hyphenated compound we are writing two words with a hyphen in between. Hyphen means you find a gap right. See well dash known it is known as well known. We are dividing the words into two using the dash that is called hyphen. Second rate, life size, lifetime or lifelong etc. Next we will learn the noun clause. A noun clause is a group of words acting together as a noun. These clauses are always dependent clause. So when you find or when you see a sentence you find that sentences are dependent on each other in a sentence words are dependent on each other so it's a bit tough one but i will help you how to find out noun clause so when you identify a noun clause you will find a subject and a verb it's a long sentence in that sentence you find a subject and a verb and obviously they are dependent on the each other. You can easily find out noun clause because they begin with the word how, that, what, whatever, when, where, whether, which, whichever, who, whoever, whom, whomever and why. When you underline the noun clause you have to find these words like how, that, what, whatever, etc. See here. Examples are given that she has won the prize. Surprised me. That she has won the prize surprised me. Here she is a subject and surprised is a verb. Verb means action. You should find an action in that word. See surprise. That's a action verb. I believe that I will pass the test. Here I is the subject and believe is a verb. So these are small sentences right. You can easily find out subject and the verb. Look at the big sentences which is there in the exercise. 
ஐ கேன் நாட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் வாய் ஷி இஸ் ஆங்கர் வித் மீ சி வாட் எவர் லெட்டர்ஸ் ஹைலைட்டட் தே ஆர் நவுன் கிளாஸ் சி ஐ டோல்ட் யூ இட்ஸ் அ லாங் சென்டென்ஸ் அண்ட் ஈச் சென்டென்சஸ் ஆர் டிபெண்டன்ட் ரைட் ஐ கேன் நாட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் திஸ் சென்டென்ஸ் டிபெண்டன்ட் ஆன் வாய் ஷி இஸ் ஆங்கிரி வித் மீ so previously you learned right i told you some begin some words begin with why whether how so whenever you find a big sentence and half sentences are separate and another half begins with why that they whatever what that what where whether then that becomes a noun clause i cannot understand why she is angry with me see the word began with why so that sentence will you have to underline that becomes a noun clause look at the second sentence they said that they would accept the offer see again i said beginning with the that so that they would accept the offer that is a noun clause he told me that he would come again the sentence began with the, that he would come so from that it became noun clause you can eat whatever you want so from whatever you want that's a noun clause can you guess what i want so what i want is a noun clause in this you can find right subject and the verb what i is a subject want is a verb i feel certain that she will come see that she will come you find a subject she is a subject come is a verb i do not know what she wants she is a subject wants is a verb so in a noun clause you find the subject and the verb at the other part of the sentence no one knows where he is so where he is it's a noun clause sometimes where is i where he is i don't know so that time where he is came first right i don't know another sentence so where he is that becomes a noun clause if you write where he is i don't know so beginning with the where he is so beginning half it will it will be a noun clause i hope you understand next we'll see noun word form see n- noun will be given you have to write their verb form okay each noun has can be converted as verb and verb can be converted as noun so nouns may be formed from verbs adjectives or other nouns you can also add suffix like child if you add hood it becomes childhood it's a suffix also right so in order to form a noun form you should add like child it's a verb if you add hood it became childhood so childhood is a noun similarly live live is a verb if you add h o o d hood it became livelihood livelihood became noun here run is a verb if you add ing form it became running running became a noun form for the word for the verb run some noun or verb they do not have suffix like choose it has definite verb form that is choice lose that is loser see here you can understand correctly her noun and their verb advise advise see noun check the spelling advise spelling is different verb advise spelling is different so it is similar but pronouns spellings are different next word choice so it's a noun what is the verb form choose confusion it's a noun form so confuse it's a verb sorry i've written there noun criticism it's a noun so criticize is a verb decision is a noun 
decide is a verb explanation is a noun explain is a verb invitation is a noun invite is a verb prediction is noun predict is a verb so in the noun only you can find their verb form next we will learn verb and their noun form previously you studied noun and their verb form now verb and their noun form so i said in the verb only you find noun in the noun also you find verb see verb is prepare so noun will be preparation it's noun always a full word okay verb it is always you find like a half word disappoint noun is disappointment write writer skate skater dictate dictation feel it become feel only you cannot write feeling feeling again it will become verb so feel is it remain as feel order it also remain as order you cannot write ordering it again become the verb employ employment choose choice shoot again it will remain shoot itself you cannot write shooting because it becomes a verb so shoot remains shoot next we'll learn about modal verbs see there are many verbs but modal verbs are only seven they are can must may might will would should these are only these seven things are called modal verbs again there is no other modal verbs so they are used with other verbs to express ability obligation possibility and so on see the list here you find the modal and the meaning and also the example like the word can it has you can write in a sentence to ask something or to say something see can you can express ability i can speak a little russian again can it is used to request can i open the window like that so modal you can use it's a one word but you can use it for the negative form or to request or to express may to express possibility i may be home late again may to request something may i sit down please must to express obligation i must go now means you have to go now immediately again must to express strong belief she must be over 90 years old should to give advice you should stop smoking would to request or to give offer would you like a cup of tea would in if sentences some sentences we can begin with if that time if i were you i would say sorry i hope you understood go through this video again and again and learn for the exam Thank you.